we are back thanks for clicking on the link welcome to good energy enjoy the content and everyone have a blessed day And we are back. Thank you guys. Please like, subscribe, comment below. Click the notification button so you are updated when I load a new video. So we're back at the Cormayor Open. 280 points up for grabs as well as $29,000. And we have a final set that will take place today. Donna Vekic, the world's rank 97. That does not sound good by Donna Vekic's name. And Clara Tawson, the world's ranked 49th opponent, who has been on a pretty good run lately. Um, I mean, Clara has won, uh, she's won uh, something like, what, 16 or 17 of her last 19 matches. So Clara's on a pretty, pretty good hot streak. Um, yeah, it doesn't get much better than that. Uh, having a very, very good year as well for Clara Tawson. Uh, so Clara's got 38 wins on the year. Yes, that's right. Unbelievable. Only 14 losses, and she's won two single titles this year. So she's been very active. In terms of Donna Vekic, not that great of a year, especially for what we're used to out of Vekic. She's only 14 and 16 on the year. Uh, no single titles. She does have two single titles overall for her career. But this is a matchup here that is going to be very interesting. Um, this is Donna Vekic's uh, first final in quite some time. It's been a, it's been um, a couple years. But let's take a look at the semifinal round. I think that was very interesting, especially for both ladies. Clara Tawson had a nail biter with Samsonova. Samsonova, the third seed in this tournament, had five match points. That's right, she had five match points and even had Clara Tawson broken in the third and final set. I'm not sure how Tawson managed to come back and win this match. She was clearly defeated several times. She looked exhausted and she she just seemed, she just seemed like she was very tired out there. Now that could be a problem uh, coming in the finals with Donna Vekic. Uh, if you take a look at Donna Vekic, her, um, her win against Jasmine Poloni was very impressive. Now we're talking about the hometown favorite. The crowd was overwhelmingly cheering for Poloni. And this is a matchup that personally, Donna Vekic, as long as she's informed, this is a matchup against Poloni, she should win. But we weren't really sure where Donna Vekic would be in terms of form. She's having a very up and down year. And if you take a close look at her weight, she's at least 20 pounds over her playing weight. With her skills, she is definitely a top 20 player. She is definitely not a world rank 97th player. She has more skills than that. She has made it to the round of 16 and just about every major, the Australian Open, the French Open, Wimbledon, and she's made it to the quarterfinals at the U.S. Open. So Donna Vekic, uh, I mean, I remember in 2019 at the U.S. Open, she put up a fight. Oh my goodness. So, I mean, in terms of this level of competition, Donna Vekic is definitely above this type of competition. But you can tell she is, she's having a rough year. Injuries, and you can tell there's possibly some other things going on there. You can, you can see it on her face. You, know, you can see it in her facial expressions. But nonetheless, he's playing someone that is just really hot right now. And tennis is all about form. And when are you catching your opponent? How's their form? How are they playing? And Clara Tawson right now is extremely hot. But in terms of this matchup here, um, the crowd is for, is for the most part going to be neutral. Um, I am a little bit concerned at how Tawson was pushed to the limits yesterday. Uh, she has a quick turnaround. Uh, I'm not sure if she's going to be able to be fully rested to deal with Donna Vekic's power. You saw what Donna Vekic did to Jasmine Poloni. Uh, the power, Jasmine could not return those shots. Vekic has a very strong serve. She has a very strong forehand. And if we're just... 
being completely 100% honest with ourselves, there is levels to any type of sport that you play professionally and, and competitively. And the reality is, although Tawson's having a great year, I don't see her on the level of Donna Vekic. I mean, you could take a look at some of the wins Tawson had. And yes, she has some, some, notable, some notable wins there on her current streak. But a top 20 in form shape Donna Vekic, this is a matchup that Donna Vekic will win 9 times out of 10. And the way she handled Jasmine Filoni yesterday, I don't see Clara Tawson being an issue for Vekic in this matchup. Vekic is the underdog. And let's be honest, if Vekic is in form on her game, this same matchup, even with Toss in form, I would see Vekic as a 2-1 to one favorite, if not a 3-1 to one favorite. So I do like Donna Vekic to win this matchup. Uh, this will get a, another singles title under her belt. This, this will make number three. This should get her confidence going. And she can come back at the Australian Open and show what she's capable of and possibly make the round of 16 again. Uh, once again, take a look at some of my Patreon picks here. All winners. Please like, subscribe, comment below. Thanks for your support. This is good energy.